Hi friends, welcome back to another craft video of how to make your very own catapult today. This means that you have swung by our library or come to curbside to claim your own kit to make the catapult today. So my name is Miss Lydia and I am here to walk you through the basic steps uh, to have some fun at home. So hopefully you received your kit and you received a sheet of instructions to follow if you'd like, or you can uh, follow along with me while we build this. So in your kit, you received nine colorful uh, tongue depressors or popsicle sticks, whatever you want to call them. You should have received a goodly set of rubber bands as well. Uh, one plastic spoon, just one, and maybe some fun pom-poms that we had left over from our reindeer craft, actually, if you believe it. Hopefully you enjoyed that. We had a lot of fun um, putting those together, and it's always good to have something warm to drink as we go into the deep winter. Happy 2021, by the way. Happy January and happy first Monday of the new year. It's the first one, it's gonna be a good year. Okay, so I have nine sticks and what we're going to do is we're gonna take two of our sticks out. Um, I think I'm gonna do a red and a blue one and then with my other seven, I'm gonna make a nice tight bundle here. Make sure they're all kind of even. And I am gonna take one of my rubber bands and I'm going to put it around the end tightly to keep them together. And then I'm gonna take another rubber band to secure the other end to make a stack of seven. That is a nice, neat bundle. So, rubber bands around either end pretty even, make it look nice. And now I'm gonna put these down. I'm gonna grab my two and I am going to rubber band them only on one end the exact same way as the other, but we're only gonna do it on one because this is our actual uh, catapult. And if you have two different colors, you're gonna wanna decide what color you want on top and what color you're gonna want on bottom. I'm gonna put blue on top and what I am going to do, make sure this is, you kind of want your rubber band close to the end of your pair of popsicle sticks because if you put it farther up this way, that is going to change how well it catapults. So you can see that these come apart and it won't open as much if we put our rubber band really far down. So we want it on the end. And now what I'm going to do is take them and actually Hold them apart and I'm going to slide our pile of seven down towards the end as far as it can go just like that and I kind of have to hold my finger because it's starting to push it out so you, you want it in the middle so you have an even amount on this side an even amount on that side and get it as far in as you can because the farther in you can put it, the more um, the more you'll be able to launch some of your pom poms. All right, with me so far? Awesome. Okay, so now we're gonna take a rubber band and we're going to um, tightly wound it around from here to make, go across at a diagonal to this side over here. So I'm gonna slide it through there. And you can see it goes around the blue and the purple. And this one can be a little bit harder to do. So I have it just along the one side. And now what I'm gonna do is another rubber band to make an X across. So instead of starting here, I'm gonna do it on this other part over here. Hold it in place. And look at that. It is held in place. It's looking like a catapult. The only thing that's missing is our spoon. Our spoon. All right, now we gotta put our spoon on. Um, what I would recommend, so I would take this rubber band and I would slide it on already. And now put your spoon on there. 
you're gonna have to hold this in place. You, what you might wanna do is like put it, tie it around up here and then slide it down. And just be kind of careful because it's a wooden popsicle stick and you don't wanna get any splinters. Although it could be your first splinter, 2021. 20, first one of the year. I don't wanna give that to you <laughs> from the library. I wanna be very nice. Make sure you're wrapping your rubber band around the spoon and the, the popsicle stick and that the rubber band does not go between the spoon and the popsicle stick. I had a few of my do that and I had to change it. I had to fix it. Okay, so we got one on there, but our spoon's still moving around, which means we need to put one more rubber band at the top, at the sort of the base of your spoon at the very top of your uh, popsicle stick. So I'm gonna kind of put it about there. We're so bringing it around. And one more to keep it nice and secure. And et, voila, we have a catapult, a beautiful multicolored catapult. And it is ready for a pom-pom. So what we're going to do is grab a brown one. And we're going to put it on our spoon. And, oh, that went really well. And it, and it just shoots off. Now, remember when you were catapulting pom-poms inside your home, uh, wherever you live, that you do clean up any of your pom-poms. Uh, what would be fun is if you had some type of target, if you're playing with other people, to try and launch your pom-poms into maybe a bowl or a cup um, or even just like a, a, a bullseye and kind of keep track as a game how many points someone can get. Uh, so this is just a fun activity. Uh, it's a lot of fun to build and uh, do inside when it's cold out because it's Michigan and it's January and it will probably be cold. So we hope you guys enjoy your craft. Um, we'll post this video again later in the month and um, the kits are available at the library while supplies last. Remember that you can shoot other items, but maybe be careful with what you are firing from your catapults. Legos are about the same size as pom-poms and maybe could go farther. And siblings might be a good target. Is an idea consider. Uh, don't forget to uh, pick up your catapults uh, if you haven't already. Like I said, until while supplies last, we have lots of supp supplies, uh, especially rubber bands. We might have bought too many boxes of rubber bands off of Amazon. That's my fault. Thank you guys. Thank you for supporting us. Um, we're hoping that 2021 is going to be shaping up to be a uh, much significantly better year. Um, until we see you guys again, read more books, have fun with your catapults, and we'll see you later. Bye.